why is DIY more popular than ever, would you say? You know, DIY is definitely more popular than ever. Uh, it's actually been around forever. People have been creating since the beginning of time. But ever since amazing things like Pinterest and YouTube has just exploded on the scene and Instagram, we are just, uh, you know, obsessed with finding inspiration through these platforms. And it's a great thing because before that, you know, we had to discover, okay, how do I make this? What do I do? But now there are so many people like myself and even yourself who are so creative and they say, hey, listen, I know how to do this. I'm going to share it with the world. And that's what art has become. Let me share this with the world and show people how easy and fun it is to create things. And you know, that at the core, that's what DIY is about. How do you feel good through personalization? And um, you know, we definitely have the internet to thank for helping us with this modern movement. Absolutely. And do you have any DIY tips for those of us who'd love to start a project but don't have much experience? I mean, of course. Where do I start? Oh wait, I know. With my geode accessory rack. <laughs> this is one of my favorite projects that I, uh, I've done. And I'm a big jewelry girl, so for me, displaying my jewelry is really important. Now, I don't like always keeping in a box, and I love displaying it so people can kind of see what my jewelry is too, and it's a fun way for me to grab it off and not get it tangled. So to create something like this, what you're gonna need is a wooden plank, some spray paint, you're gonna use a strong adhesive permanent glue, you can use either geode rocks or dresser drawer knobs. Now once you spray it, I chose this fun powder pink color, you wanna get your glue and get a nice amount on the back and stick it down on there. Now after 24 hours, it should be good to go and permanent so you're able to put it right on top of the wall. And you can use something like a command hook so it's not totally permanent, you're able to take it down um, or display it on a shelf. And do you have any other fun and simple ideas for screw Do I have any more? Candace, I do. One of my favorite things for the fall is kind of reinventing a planter. Succulents are a great addition to the home. You know, and they're, they're really easy to take care of. They don't require a lot of light, tons of water, and they're always funky and quirky with their designs and super inexpensive, but they come in those plastic containers that are kind of blah. So metallics are a great way to spruce it up. Metallics are very luxurious and they're super chic. So whether it's a chrome finish or a rose gold, giving it two coats on the outside will give it a whole new look. Or if you're more into the wall art, I think that this is a project that also people definitely resonate with. It happens to be one of my favorites. Are you a wall art person? I am. Well, I hope you'll love this one because this is a fun one to do, especially with kids and friends. I think that, you know, uh, it's always difficult to think, what do I give a gift for a birthday? And, you know, buying gifts for people is sometimes difficult, but giving art is something truly special. So to create something like this, you can use a typical craft feather, your favorite colors of spray paint, layer them together. Metallics and other shades always look fun. Once they're dry, if you cut them and use your glue gun to do a circular formation on foam core, sticking in a frame, you'll have a beautiful piece of art to display in no time at all. Oh, how I love spray paint, especially glitter spray paint. Oh my gosh, don't get me started on that one, girl. And what is your favorite project to complete in a weekend? Oh, you know, that's a really tough one for me. I, I, you know, it's like picking a favorite child. I don't know if you have kids, but do you have kids, Candace? I don't, I have dogs and I can't. Well, okay, so here's my question for you. Who's your, do you have a favorite dog? No. See, you can't do it. But I have to say, I have to say, I love projects that bring people together. So for me, it's really fun to do like a girls' night or where, um, you know, you bring your friends over and you tell everybody to bring a frame of their choice and, you know, feathers and you have everything here and you can create the art together. I think for me, my favorite part about creating is the idea that, uh, it could be a very social activity to do with friends or family. And where do you get your DIY project inspiration from? You know, inspiration comes from everywhere. For me, walking down the street to going shopping, I'm always stopped in my tracks. And I was able to create so these projects here and so many more due to whether it be like the Pinterest or walking down the street. And, you know, I've made so many of these projects using items from True Value who I've partnered with. It's kind of my go-to one-stop shop for so many things. And for me, you know, it's really about how do you find the coolest items that are still affordable if you're gonna purchase them, mixing them with things that you already have at home. You know, the idea of repurposing and reusing things is really what DIY is all about. 
And what is the tool or DIY item you can't live without and everyone needs? Well, gosh, that's a hard one. People like us have so many. Um, but I'm going to say my glue gun. I'll have to go with you on that one. Well, thank you so much. Do you have any additional tips or information I could share with us, Erica? Well, you know what? For everything you've seen here, go to truevalueprojects.com where you can get all the inspiration and how-tos and hopefully be inspired to create something for yourself. And where can people go for more information on you, Erica? Well, you can always go to PSMA This Too. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you today. The pleasure was all mine, Candace. Thank you. Thank you, Erica.